Hi, this is the base to the Eternal Tear. I didn't see any other videos on YouTube, so I thought I would just give a, a quick show of, of what these are. This is the rarest piece of the uh, Sailor Moon Tear. It's probably because it's very plain. There's not much to it, and it's also fairly delicate. So if little kids were playing with it, it probably would have broken quite a bit. This piece has a crack. I don't know if you can see it right here. And that's from using the centerpiece to tighten up uh, this, the, the toy so that the pieces stay together. So if you had the chalice, which I don't have anymore so I can't show you, it has a little stick at the bottom once you take off the base. And you would insert that here, and then you would close this up, and then you would take this piece and you would very carefully, um, you can see how there's little grooves here. And also you can see that this piece also has grooves that match up to it. So you will put these together and then very gently wiggle it into place. I'm trying to be as careful as I can because, like I said, this piece has a crack in it. So, like this. And then you can turn it to lock it in place. Uh, it also came with this top right here. Um, this is what the shape of the chalice piece would look like, and it would go in this piece. And then you, when you use this piece, though, there's a second piece right here, which is used to tighten this top. I am pretty sure this is not used with the chalice piece. This is only for um, for this weird little moon wand thing. Here you can see it's got a little cute chibi figure of Eternal Moon. Nothing not much on the back. You know, they sort of just made it for this toy. Obviously nothing like this appears in the show. Um, but yeah, here's just a quick close-up of what it looks like. And then that's where the pieces get inserted. So as you can see, it's kind of, you know, not exactly sturdy. So it, it kind of makes sense that there just aren't that many left around anymore. Okay.